Well, last night I started doing a bit of the foam work. So we put the lid back on, it's on. I realized the struts are now too weak. So I put on the ones that were too strong before, but it seems to work really good with the top. So I have the foam, I've started it on the top. I kind of just spray glued to hold everything in place. I'm not exactly sure if I'm getting to that part yet. I was just kind of curious to see how the shape was gonna look. I'm pretty happy with it. I think the one inch is gonna be good for there. On the back, I kind of have two inch on here, but it's just, it's kind of just how it works, um, or how I want to do it. So we got the whole top is kind of done-ish. Uh, so I was going to layer two layers of foam, because the idea was going to be that I want to pull, well, when I do the vinyl, I want to pull it really tight and give it a much, much more poofy look. The vinyl is almost big enough, but it's not. So, we're basically gonna mock this out, make it a little bigger. I'm probably gonna sew two pieces together and then trim it. Um, I feel like the pieces that I trim off will work for the chunks of the cab. Like, this is wide enough that I think I can go do the whole top and hopefully it all, I don't know, hopefully it'll hold its shape and we'll make one piece that kinda comes that gets sewn in that we can go around and glue in but not too worried about that right now first focus is going to be on the uh the bed so uh plan of attack like i say we got two layers of foam i feel that is plenty it's uh i think one's not quite enough because it's kind of lumpy some of the fiberglass we'll see We'll see a lot of imperfections, I think. I think. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with the, I'm gonna stick with the two pieces. Anyways, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna measure out what I need, sew two pieces together, and then I guess we start the process of figuring out how to stretch it and glue it to that top. Right now what I'm actually doing is like this is the bed cover stuff but I kind of flopping it over on the roof I'm trying to see how this is gonna work out because it's I have it sort of even side to side so you can kind of I don't know if you kind of just do a guesstimate we're about three fingers aside or something if you want to use that as a unit of measurement I will <laughs> so I'm trying to see what's happening, because it's like metal, like you can see, but vinyl we can pull and stretch. I'm just trying to get an idea what this panel is supposed to be, because I'm thinking there's too much going on to, you know, just make the roof a single seam and try to pull this over. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think it's uh, got enough give to pull everywhere. There'll be too much material in one spot. So I'm trying to visualize what this is going to look like. I guess what's bugging me is I'm thinking the bed's going to have a single stitch. 
And I'm just wondering if it's going to be weird that there's multiple, like there'll be two stitches there and then this line doesn't line up with anything down the middle. So I'm debating whether the bar, the bed should be done, you know, with two strips. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm still, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, part of me now is actually thinking about it. If that one gets a full piece down, the window goes in, the bottom happens. There's nothing referencing this line going to the other one. I'm not sure why I'm struggling with it because it's just like there's going to be a line that goes to nothing. And if you see where the vinyl is, if I do that, that means I'd have to just stitch and add on just to the outside of this. But then when I pull it, I'm worried it's going to be crooked. I won't be able to keep it straight. Ugh. If it's in the middle, it's easy. If I had something to reference, I'm wondering if I, when I do the top, if I should be making one piece just with a stitch in it, just so my OCD can actually uh, handle that the top and the bed are different. I don't know why this is a problem for me. <laughs> Man. Why? Why would that be? This part looks like it'll be nice. Like I'll be able to pull and it'll have a nice edge on it. I can, that I can visualize. I don't know. Now I'm stuck thinking about this for a bit. So I don't want to sew. I don't know if I'm going to do two stitches on the bed or I'm going to do one. I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time with that right now. I can do one if I don't like it. I can cut it and weld it or sew, sew it on the other side. I think that's what's going to happen. I won't cut up all the vinyl till I know what exactly what I want to do. <laughs> Man.
you see, maybe you don't, but here's what I'm almost thinking. I'm not too happy with this stitch, so I'm probably gonna redo this. I mean, it got me good practice. It was pretty good, I thought, until here. I don't know if that was when I started. I was a little off. I don't know if you can actually tell. I don't know what I was going for. I'm thinking I was trying to ride the edge more, like I did up here. Because what I did is I sewed it, and then I folded it, and then I was sewing it again. If I show you underneath here. It's like sewn, fold it, sewn again. So, I mean, yeah, I had a little screw up somewhere around here near the end where I ended up right on the thread. It was really hard to, I had to do it upside down. I don't know. I don't know if I can do better, but I'm going to try. But you can see, if we just put this in and the seam was down the middle, it wouldn't make sense to the top. It's kind of weird because it's kind of an obvious seam. So what I'm thinking of doing is, because this is like the edge of the bed right here, or the tonneau cover. I'm thinking I'm going to make two of these lines, like two stitches. I'm basically going to add a bit of material. The thing is just wide enough, but I'm going to cut it a little bit so that from here to the bedside, I can get this thing maybe mid-light, somewhere like that. Try to have them reference the same, because when this goes on, once we upholster it, it's going to like tuck under like that. So I think, and this is going to go up and that is probably how the top is going to be. And then there's going to be two halves. So when the top's on, the stitching looks proper. So my meaning for that is you have to imagine this, this top is going to go on in three pieces. At least I think three pieces. I'm going to do a piece down the middle and then I have to make a piece for the side, kind of like a convertible or do something like that. Cause I think there'll be too much material and I can't pull it. And when the top and the bed are on, I almost want them to line up as close as I can make it without having just a random line somewhere. So I am going to look at some more ideas, but I think I'm going to, I'll cut this one out and we'll try it again. But I'm going to take a little more out of that whole piece and I'll add two smaller pieces on either side. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think so. I think this is going to be pretty cool. It's a, it's a lot of material for me to hold and try to push through and keep things straight. So I'm struggling with that a little bit, but hey, a little bit of practice. We'll get it. It'll happen. Yet. Oh. So uh, I guess we're back to the drawing board. I'm going to cut that thing up and uh, try to make a uniform little piece. <laughs> <laughs> So I have a game plan, thought about it last night and uh, well, what I feel like I'm going to do is this is going to come around somewhere here. I'm going to have somehow there's going to be a seam coming up. I don't know if it'll be to this corner. I don't know how that part is working out yet, um, but there'll be some kind of a seam going there. This seam, I'm going to try to line up here and because the, the bed's like just different and weird. I'm going to have that seam come through and then probably come at a little bit of a taper. I don't know if I'll do more or less. Like right now I'm thinking I'm going to go between my lights, which should give me, give the truck like a little bit of a look to it. Um, what I got to do is get some chalk and I'll be able to mark these out. And then I can go upstairs onto the table and we'll kind of, I'll be able to like line it up. I'm going to find something long to sharp off that line. Then we're going to trim this off and then do a trim for the side. Sew the two 
And then I think we're about ready to try to smash it together. At least that's my thought. Overall, that's my thought. So I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting. Need to get some chalk though. I thought I had some, I don't have nothing here. So uh, our plan is gonna be to run it down, to grab some chalk, pull it off. Let's do our lines. Let's, let's start sewing some stuff and let's make a bed cover. <laughs> well now, went to town to get me some chalk and uh, well, we lost the tranny and the tea. Boo. So that's a bit of a bummer. So I guess I'll be uh, doing a transmission. <laughs> Not that I wanted to. Hopefully I got some in the shed that I can just swap it straight out and then I'll try to rebuild that one at another date. Anyways, now that I got chalk, I did a quick marking on the back here. So I'm gonna bring it upstairs and we're gonna trim and start sewing.
Oh, well, there we go. I don't know if you can see it. I'm pretty happy with the stitching. That turned out pretty good, I think. I got them lined up with my marks. We made some marks on the frame because I'm gonna have to take this off and somehow, oops, got a couple little boo-boos there. <laughs> we ventured a bit. That's fine, that's fine. This one turned out pretty good. I'm not gonna complain because if that's the worst that I do, I'm gonna be pretty darn happy. Okay, so we made some marks. The hard part now is, well, I wonder how much of it I can do. I wonder if I can just clamp it just to see. Oh yeah, I can't really do that. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna trim some foam first because in this area there's a little too much overhanging. So we're gonna snip that up because I just think I'm gonna pull it tight around the edge and it won't really harm anything. I'm thinking, could be totally wrong. Well, maybe I'll lift it up. I'll lift it up, give it a tug, see what happens here. I really don't know what I'm doing. I have uh, never ever done one of these before, so. I don't know what to expect. So my thought is, I'm gonna pull this pretty darn hard and it's gonna get glued on around that edge. Mind you, I thought I had more pull than I got. A little worried there. I'm a little worried I didn't get it wide enough. Hmm. Huh? I guess we'll find out. Maybe if I glue the sides, I can actually come back and figure out the middle. All right. Well, I'll trim away a bit of this foam. We do have too much of it. And then uh, I guess I'll, I don't know, I'll lay some plastic on here so I don't screw up, but I just wonder if I lather some glue onto here, if that's all it's going to take or what. Be nice, like I say, to get the sides done. Then I can take it off once that's glued and do the front and the back and figure that business out.
Well, it's not working out as nice as I want. This is like turning into a big shelf. I kind of wanted it to be more round like this. I think I got to pull it tighter, but I'm struggling with it. I think I have it sort of tacked. I can pull it apart and try to re-glue it and pull it a little tighter. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy. I know it has a weird look to it because it actually looks like it bubbles out. <laughs> so maybe it does, I don't know. Yeah, I feel I should have left more foam hanging off the side that I could have wrapped around it. I'm not sure how to go about to fix it or it just is what it is. See, this is pretty square. I figured I was going to pull that down a lot tighter. So I'm struggling right now, but I think I have it like it'll hold its shape that I can take it off, put it on a stand, and then slowly tug and pull at things to uh, maybe get what I want. It's a lot of bulky buildup everywhere. I wanted poofy and I got poofy. I just don't know if it's too poofy. I'm putting a lot of trust in this glue. I don't know. I don't know about glue. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna set something up where I can flip this thing upside down onto it and then actually try to pull everything tight. So far it's not too bad, but uh, yeah, we've only started. <laughs> Alrighty.
is my only fear. Having a white top, how dirty I'm gonna have it all the time. I think once it gets that initial dirtiness, it won't be so bad, but. I even thought my hands were pretty clean. Well now, it definitely has its flaws, but overall, that is pretty much what I was shooting for. It was supposed to be a little more round, but I mean, overall, it's just uber poofy, which is perfect. And it's like a hard cover that has an old school look. Now there's like, it's not perfect everywhere around here, but I'm, I'm not concerning myself with that. It was never intended to be a, a, to waterproof my bed or anything like that. It is strictly, was a cosmetic thing. And man, eh? Like, it's got a nice, a nice poof to it. There's a couple little things, but hey, I have never done this before and I'm pretty happy for my first attempt. It's good enough. The worst thing, like, worst case, I can always redo it. It's not the end of the world. Um, let's get this open here. Let's get that. Look at that. Woo me. <laughs> All right. So I was kind of happy I did the fiberglass wrap around on the edges because I glued it and you know what? I'm getting a lot of faith in this glue. There's a couple, couple spots, I guess, but you know, if I reapplied the glue, it'd be good. But because I fiberglassed, I was able to just ram some staples everywhere and I just feel a little better having some kind of a, a backup in there. But overall, it does stick and do really well. I was pretty happy with that. So we did the initial, we initially did the edge and I wasn't happy with it because it was pretty square. Now it has a roundness to it. The edging, I could have done better, I guess, like the fiberglass, but I'm not about to like try to body work that all and stuff. So eh, it kind of just is what it is. And I'm not really gonna sweat it. The truck's not perfect. Few things like the corners, I didn't really know how to do those right. I kind of struggle with that with the upholstery always. They're sort of okay, but it doesn't look that clean. But anyways, goes down, locks, and it's done. That's just awesome. I'm kind of happy with the way I did that. That line actually looks straight, even though my my, my bed does a weird, or my tonneau does a weird humpity hump around, but I think it's because it flattens out. See how it kind of goes flat and then it rounds? But hopefully my other marks where I have the intention to have the sewing line go up and over is gonna line up and I don't know. We're gonna try to tackle that the next round. I think uh, for now, I think that's where we're gonna leave this one. And it's on a good note, I'm happy. <laughs> Oh man, that's awesome. Anyways, folks, uh, I kind of plowed through this. I'm pretty happy with my sewing machine. I'm pretty happy the way this came out. If that top comes out anywhere near as that, I'm gonna be super pumped. And then this probably means I did finish up a little bit of AC. We still need to fix these wheels to get that sorted. Well, I've ordered more lug nuts. Hopefully they get here. <laughs> They're a little slow. Uh, but anyways, as always, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and we will catch you on the next one later. <laughs>